Now, if there was any cat here at the Wildcat Sanctuary who would open a, a rainstorm with open arms, I think it would have to be the one and only Tigress Daisy. Welcome everyone. Happy to have everyone with us on this uh, admittedly soggy, soggy day here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. That's Tigress Daisy who uh, has begun to stalk me from her in-ground pool. Glad to see everyone joining us today. Happy Monday. It's Monday here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. Always amazing to have you guys with us on these live posts. As you can see, it's a little soggy here, a little wet today. It's been a rainy day uh, for that matter. It's been a rainy past four or five days. And I have uh, was just kind of doing my rounds here at the Wildcat Sanctuary, wanting to do a live post for everyone. And uh, of course, the one cat that you would expect to be out in the rain, embracing the uh, embracing the weather, splashing in her puddles. Of course, of course, of course, it's our beloved Crazy Daisy. Hey, Carrie, thanks for joining us. Carrie Miller, hey Judson and Rainy Day Daisy, that's exactly right. Rainy indeed. Fortunately, here at the Wildcat Sanctuary, we offer every single one of our 100 plus residents, uh, all the way from our tigers all the way down to the hybrids, an indoor space to seek shelter from inclement weather like this. And uh, a cat like Daisy, who has the choice to go inside or outside, we can see Daisy has made the choice to uh, put on her rain boots and do a little bit of splashing in uh, some puddles in her habitat. Kind of her. Uh, Embrace her inner her inner cub, if you will. Oh, look at that, Miss Daisy! You made Wendy Williams's Monday better. That's great to hear, Wendy. We're always happy when uh, a resident here at the Wildcat Sanctuary can brighten your day, and I think uh, Daisy in particular is no exception. I think uh, you know, obviously, she has her bubbly personality and uh, is uh, always a very social tiger and loves com coming saying hello to us. Um, but I think, uh, you know, Daisy makes our days even better when we think about all that she's overcome um, before she came here to the Wildcat Sanctuary, whether it was the un undiagnosed case of spinal meningitis, uh, whether it's the, the fractured foot and calcified uh, injury that she had in her foot where we had to put a plate. Uh, I mean, the list goes on with Daisy, how she's a special needs cat. Um, so many of these things um, you know, add up to make Daisy the tigress that he that she is, and it's just so spectacular um, to kind of learn about all that she's been through, and it gives us a little bit more, uh, kind of better of a perspective of when we see her as the stalking tigress that she is being now, as to how far this lady has come. Oh yeah, are you stalking me? Are you stalking me? Boo! Yeah, and you got you got water all over me, pretty lady. You got water all over me. What do you think, Daisy Lady? <laughs> Can we have some chuffs? Uh, slow stock. Yeah, you did. You got us. You got us. Welcome, everyone. It's a rainy Monday here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. We are spending some time with Miss Tigress Daisy was just commenting uh, how Daisy, out of all of our residents, she says, you know what, I know I have that indoor bedroom where I can stay nice and cozy, but I want to go enjoy myself outside and be the playful tiger that I am and splash around in some puddles and do all those fun rainy day things that uh, even us humans like doing. I can't... Uh, I can't deny that I've maybe splashed in a couple deep puddles here that I've seen at the sanctuary with this rain we've been given. It's fun, isn't it, Daisy? Doing my best to scroll through here. I kind of have a wet screen. Let's look at some comments, Miss Daisy. Uh, Daisy says, tag, you're it. Am I, Daisy? Always great to see uh, one of Daisy's patented stocks. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of that from Tiger Cub Dash, who uh, has been doing an excellent job uh, in his Apex Tiger, Apex Predator in training program. And we're giving, a, we're of course giving Dash all of the uh, amenities to help with that kind of training or learning to be a tiger and to act like a tiger. Lots of toys, perches, platforms, of course, uh, his free roaming habitat with all those natural offerings. 
Those are the least we can do for cats like Daisy, who are tigers and who are entitled to be the uh, tigers that they were born to be. And we're just so fortunate that we have you, our awesome supporters, to supply us with the resources to do that. Are we walking, Miss Daisy? Are we walking? Welcome, everyone. If you're just tuning in, I'm just going to glance across the way. I see the three wild. They're taking advantage of their indoor bedroom. I looked across the way to Leo and Mansa. They're also taking advantage of their indoor bedroom. And uh, again, who can blame them? It's uh, kind of a crummy day here. And uh, that's why we really do put an emphasis on making sure that we do have those uh, dry spaces for our residents. And uh, that comes in the form of our temperature controlled indoor bedrooms, uh, which are a part of our central animal building attached to all of the animal habitats here. And uh, Daisy, as you can see, she says, hey, rain, that ain't no thing. I'm gonna go out and have some fun. <laughs> Looking through some more comments here. Appreciate everyone's patience. Fun gets the phone gets a little funky when the screen gets wet. Shannon, you're right about that. Dash is having fun in the rain. Tammy uh, posted a, a really funny uh, series of photos of Dash doing a little. Uh, Splashing in some puddles in his habitat. And you can find that on the Daily with Dash, Dash page. Hey, Amanda. Amanda says, hi, Judson. Daisy looks is looking great. You are right about that. Tiger Daisy is looking tremendous. Uh, and I uh, spoke about it a little bit earlier during the post, but Daisy's one of those cats who has come a long, long way to, uh, the, to the resident that you see now. And I uh, highly encourage you going to our website, www.wildcatsanctuary.org, so you can read Daisy's full story, along with seeing uh, photos of uh, kind of uh, the treatment that she was given at the U of M, as well as kind of the condition that she came to us in. Um, so you can compare that to how she is now. The, the running, jumping, leaping, stalking, happy, vivacious tiger that we know now. So Miss Daisy, I know you like the rain, but I got to admit, I'm not too wild about the rain. And I'm glad we got to come out and spend a little time with you, though, pretty lady. Am I? Yeah. And uh, I'm just going to do a, a teensy weeny tiny little bit of teasing before I go. I uh, have it on good authority that there's some exciting news coming to the Wildcat Sanctuary tomorrow and uh, looking forward to everyone finding out about that news here on our social media platforms, whether it be Facebook or Instagram. And then of course, the most direct means of finding any updated and new information about the Wildcat Sanctuary, which would be our e-newsletter. And you can sign up to that through our website at www.wildcatsanctuary.org. So there's my little tease. I won't be too cruel to everyone. But again, I'm looking forward to sharing some exciting news with everyone tomorrow. I know uh, Miss Daisy the Tigress is too. And uh, of course, this exciting news, whenever we bring stuff like this to you, it, uh, it wouldn't be possible without your support. And we're just uh, so thankful po to be able to be uh, sharing this type of special news with you. And I hope uh, everyone is uh, going to get excited for it as I am right now as I sit here and talk to you. So I think for now, after that little tease and a little time with Miss Daisy Daisy, we're going to call that a live post. I'm happy to have everyone with us today. A little bit of a soggy day, a little bit of a shorter live post, but nonetheless, we got a little cat time in with Miss Daisy. Highly suggest that you go and check out the full post if you uh, tuned in partway through. But uh, looking forward to going live with everyone tomorrow, sharing uh, the exciting news that I just teased. And of course, if you want to be the first one to get that news, make sure that you're signed up for our e-newsletter. Isn't that right, Miss Daisy? All right, everyone, have a great rest of your Monday. And